All right, guys, stand by for another slow talking old man video. Hey, guys, I just returned from my trip to uh, Colorado, and I noticed that I had a about a three pound drop in my tire pressure every morning. Every single morning, I had about three pounds less in that tire. Uh, and I'd air it back up, get back on the road. I tried using soap suds and stuff, couldn't find the problem. Uh, but I watched it very close. And it seemed to seal off in the daytime when things heated up. But anyway, uh, so I ended up going ahead and buying a new tire for it because of the nail, it picked up a nail somewhere and it's kind of in that curvature and the, the tire guy said it's not repairable. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I might throw it on as a spare, I'm not sure. But I kind of look at it like I do motorcycle tires. If you get a flat, change it out. You know, don't, don't, don't count on the patch. It's probably overkill, but that's what I do. Um, an interesting thing though, uh, a lot of people, I hear a lot of people bring this up is uh, altitude. What does altitude do to a tire? Uh, does pressure go up or go down? Pressure goes up when you when you go up in altitude. And uh, you would think, well, no, the, the thing swells out because there's less pressure on the outside, right? But it's not like that because this is a steel belted radio and there's really no place for the pressure to go. So you take, you, you actually, you've got gauge pressure inside and you drop an atmospheric pressure on the outside. So the pressure in a tire actually will read higher. Does it make a lot of difference? Not really because as you go up in altitude, you also drop temperature. So you don't have as much heat effect on the tire. That's, that's your biggest effect, the heat. And uh, you know, say we're running along here at sea level at 14.7 uh, pounds atmospheric pressure, and it's uh, say 90 degrees. And then we go up to uh, Leadville, Colorado, and it's uh, 10,200 feet, and let's say that the atmospheric pressure is 10.7. So that's four pounds difference, right? So this tire will go up four pounds. But this tire will go up more than four pounds from heat just running, running down the road. I saw 93 pounds on my back tire, tires on my ram, my load tires. I had the tongue weight and everything on it. You won't blow a tire up from too much pressure. I've heard it takes like 200 pounds to blow one of these tires up any tire. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not, but you're not gonna you're not gonna blow one of these tires up from too much pressure. You know, a little expansion, temperature expansion. Uh, but you will have a blowout in a hurry if you let that pressure get down to a point where it can't support that load without overheating and. If you don't check your pressure every day, you don't know where that, that point is. And if I would have left that alone, you know, I was noticing three pounds every morning, less in that tar, and I'd air it back up. But if I would have left that alone, every day I would have lost three pounds and eventually I would have had a blowout. I'm totally convinced of that. So check your tar pressure, get you a good gauge. Got a link to my Two, ga two favorite gauges, but I had some uh, comments and some guys gave me some uh, other gauges that I definitely want to look at. They're, they are expensive, but I, I don't think you can put too much uh, money in a, in a good gauge. It's, it's worth it, especially on these cheap trailers that have marginal capacity and you need every pound of air you can get in these tires working for you. Uh, over pressure won't hurt them, but under pressure, it doesn't take much. So thank you, fellas, and uh, until next time, adios.